Traditional design and practices for building Chinese wooden arch bridges combine the use of wood, traditional architectural tools, craftsmanship, the core technologies of beam weaving and mortise and tenon joints, and an experienced woodworker's understanding of different environments and structural mechanics to build wooden arch bridges. The combination is blended and directed by the woodworking master and implemented by many other woodworkers and manifests the highest traditional Chinese building skills. The cultural space created by traditional Chinese arch bridges has provided an ecology for growing communication, understanding and respect amongst human beings. This artistry has been practiced in Pingnan County, Shoning County and others since the Song Dynasty over 1,000 years ago. It has always been regarded as one of the most precious cultural heritages by the inheritors, represented by Huang Chuncai, Zheng Duojin and others. Even today, 110 traditional wooden arched bridges built over various dynastic periods still exist, demonstrating a variety of structures and shapes. The inheritor who comprehends the core techniques of designing, beam creation and construction are respectfully addressed as woodworking master. They hold the key of inheritance of this construction technique. Depending on the particular needs of local people holding a ceremony, recreational activity or exchanging information, woodworking masters might design and build single arched or multi arched bridges. Taking into account the surrounding topography, hydrology and resources, these could be single-eaved, double-eaved or multi-eaved verandas with two or four pillars according to the requirements of the cultural functions. The bridge construction is a completely manual operation. It includes wrenching, building the bridge abutment and building the arch structure. The building process, known as beam weaving, is as follows. One, constructing a row of vertical columns. Two, constructing the three row of sticks. Three, constructing the five row of sticks. Four, constructing the scissors posts. Five, constructing sticks for the horizontal beam system and carriage posts. In this way, the intersections and cross support of the straight timber form an approximate deal arch brace. The relatively short timber pieces are connected and gradually stretched with the help of mortise and tenon which successfully helps the bridge to span the valley and support the load on the bridge floor. The main tools include Luban rulers, carpenter's ink markers, the wooden forecourse, axes, chisels, planes, saws and so on. 
Even today, builders are still using and improving on complex tools such as water trestles, portal cranes, horizontal slots and wooden clashing hammers, amongst others. This craftsmanship has been passed on orally and by personal demonstration, or by masters teaching apprentices or relatives passing on strict procedures from one generation to another within a clan. Names and information about the woodworking masters are written on the beams of the arch bridges upon completion in recognition of their participation and contribution and include their choreography and pedigrees. Today those clans play an irreplaceable role in building, maintaining and protecting these bridges. The wooden arched bridge has become a central public element in the local natural, human and cultural environment. In addition to its purely transportation functions, wooden stools and beds in the bridge verandas allow passing travellers to rest for the night. It becomes a place for villagers to gather, chat and swap information. Hence the bridge has become an indispensable part of life for local residents. The shrine located right in the middle of the bridge allows for worship and prayers for protection. Sacrifices to deities and ancestors are held several times a year. A stage is built at one end of the bridge where crowds excitedly gather during festivals and to enjoy local operas. With the development of science and technology, as well as rapid urbanisation and the advancement of bridge architecture, the living space for the craft of arched bridge building is narrowing. At present, there are only four woodworking masters who possess the key skills of wooden arched bridge construction. The average age of these masters is 75, and there are no more than 20 apprentices actively trying to inherit these unique skills. This reduced number makes the outlook for the survival of the craft look bleak. In an effort to redress this situation, the following steps have been taken. One, declaring representative works to be intangible cultural heritage at different levels so that the entire art can be completely protected. Two, setting up a mechanism to ensure the protection of the inheritance of the art. Five craftsmen have been appointed as inheritors of the intangible cultural heritage at different levels. Three, providing practice sites for inheritors of the art and the opportunity to pass on skills to apprentices. Four, setting up an exhibition hall showcasing the traditional construction of wooden arched bridges and opening it to the public. Five, two international academic seminars on wooden arched bridges have been held, one in 2005 and one in 2007. In addition, the following protective measures will be taken over the coming four years. One, setting up a medium and long-term protection program and placing it within the budget of the local social development plan. Two, improving the life and medical insurance system for the inheritors of the skills to relieve them of worries that might distract them from their craft. Three, setting up of a fund for the traditional Chinese artistry of wooden arched bridges. Most of this has come from donations made by local people. Four, setting up an artistry training workshop to carry out a training plan for those who will inherit the traditional skills. This unique traditional craft, close to being lost forever, desperately needs our protection so that it will continue to exist forever as a testimony to the ingenuity and skill of our ancestors.